Today, we're opening the first Yu-Gi-Oh sets ever made. What's up guys, we're back with another old school opening. In this one, we have not only the first couple of sets, but we have the first 15 sets ever made, minus Rise of Destiny, because unfortunately we just don't have that one, but it's Rise of Destiny, we've opened a lot of it, it's not really a big deal. We got Magician's Force, we got Invasion of Chaos, we got Blue Eyes White Dragon, Pharaoh Servant, all the good stuff. Rise of Destiny, who cares about it? But before we get into it, we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away these two secret rares that we pulled in a recent video. Simply like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, and let me know in the comments which you think will have the best pull out of all of these packs, and what your favorite is. So to spice this video up, I brought in another 12 packs. We've got 25 total packs to open today. These are the big ones, but we also have some cool stuff like Battles of Chaos. Let's see if we can pull something out of here. Let's get this video started off with a bang by pulling, oh, this is being weird, the Dark Magician. Here we go. We have Into the Line with the Pot of Greed on the artwork, Skill Brown Magician, the Rock Scales, Doll Happiness, Dynamorphy Reversion. That's a super rare, but don't worry. We could still get the Dark Magician at the end. Here we go. We got Mad Hacker. Doll Monster, Miss Maiden, and that's not a Dark Magician. That's a Trap card, but that's okay. Not a great start, but we'll get there. All right, we are going to be alternating back and forth. We're going in reverse chronological order. So this is the first GX set. If you don't include like Flaming Eternity, Soul of the Duelist, Rise of Destiny as GX, they're kind of like the middle ground, but this is the first like GX, GX set. So Lost Millennium. Here we go. Let's see if we can get Ancient Gear Golem in here. Maybe Flame Wingman, something crazy like that. Three, four, really anything at all would be pretty awesome, especially an Ultimate Rare. We have Shifting Shadow starting it off. Battery Man Double A. Lone Wolf, pretty crazy card actually. Medusa Worm, Gift of the Martyr, Battery Charger, Elemental Hero Spark Man. The Elemental Hero Vanillas originally came in this set, which is pretty crazy. And we have, uh, oh, the next card, Minefield Eruption. And, oh, it is an Ultimate Rare. And it's a hero signal. Speaking of heroes, here they are. The OG hero set with hero signal ultimate rare. Wow, that is awesome. That is a way to start this opening. The first old school car or pack is an old school ultimate rare. And not only is it like an ultimate rare, it's a pretty good one. Like hero signal is really, really cool. The bat signal for heroes, that is pretty awesome. All right, that is what we call a good start in the opening business. Here we go. <laughs> we have an ultimate rare hero signal. That is wild. I was not expecting to start like that. Uh, what set am I opening again? I probably don't need to do Oh wait, this is tactical master. So we do two from the back. We have a few, actually, no, we don't do it on this one. Labyrinth Barrage. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Not on that one because that might be a Euro pack or maybe actually somebody said in the comments that's how they used to be, but I'm, I can't really remember. I can't keep up. All right, so if we were doing a battle against the new versus the old right now, I think the uh, the old would be winning. It's just pretty funny because they've opened one pack and got an ultimate rare. The new has pulled nothing. So we have Flaming Eternity. This is also a first edition pack. So was the uh, Lost Millennium, by the way. So not all of these are first ed. Some are just original print. It, the LOB is a reprint. One, two, three, four, but there's some really cool stuff in here. Oh, pole position, crazy card. Pretty cool artwork. I like the Oni Tank Rux in 34, of course, because, you know, the namesake. The Earth, Hexel Fusion. Uh, we got the Ragnarok, Poison Fangs, Fulfillment of the Contract, Flame Ruler. There's some amazing cards in Ultimate Rare in here. So if we get any ultis, we're going to go crazy. Insect Knight. Oh, of all insect fighters, he is the paragon of the indestructible insect invaders, which only the elite of the elite can join. We can no longer ignore the unmatched battle prowess. Unmatched battle prowess. There we go. We got it. Good Goblin Housekeeping. Pretty amazing flavor text. And we have... Ultimate Insect. So we got an Ultimate. It's not an Ultimate Rare. So Ultimate Insect. Okay, pretty cool. Next pack, we have a Photon Hypernova. If you guys are enjoying this old school opening, make sure to let me know in the comments and we'll try to do more because these are hard packs to find, but you guys know this is like, this is where the channel started, you know, these old school packs. So I'm always trying to grab more if we can. Ice Shade Manifestation. I really like opening the newer stuff too because there's been a lot of really amazing cards to pull in the newer sets, but of course, old sets, they just can't be beaten. They're the best. Uh, Diablantis. We have the Core of Chaos and we have a Galactic Karibo. Let's so talk about old school. So this is a new Karibo, but Karibo is from the second set in the anime. So he's an old school card. So a little bit of a throwback there. All right, we are on to the first ever mid set. So after Ancient Sanctuary came out, Soul of the Duelist, which had the first set with ultimate rares in it for in the US. But it's like, is this really a GX set? It has Yugi on it? Let me know in the comments your opinion on if this is a GX set or if it's not. Uh, there's a lot of different debate on like, oh, is Yugi on it? It can't be a GX set. Oh, but it has ultimate rares. So that's where GX starts. So it's kind of an interesting one. This and Flaming Eternity and Rise of the duelist or rise of destiny sorry are the three that were kind of thrown in that middle ground so let me know what you guys think horus could be pulled in here levels four six and eight so let's pull any of them in ultimate rare we have big wave small wave mass dragon the original print neo aquamanor it got a retrain 
that early. Neo Aquamador. For some reason, it's just a tribute version, though. They like to do that. Howling Insect's actually a pretty good card. Ninjutsu Art of Decoy. We have Hate Hain. Same thing. Hain Hain got a retrain. It's so strange. This one's actually decent, though. I mean, you at least have an effect. Uh, Fusion Weapon. And finally, what will we get? Will it be an ulti? It is an ulti! Hammer Shot Ultimate Rare! What is going on? Two ultimate rares from three packs that could have ultimate rares. Two of them are ultis. So this is not as cool or collectible of a card, but what this does remind me of is like a Kirby game, you know, the giant tree or like some sort of old school Nintendo game. That's what this reminds me of, this artwork, because it like if it had the eyeballs and the mouth, it'd be it'd be a Kirby game, if you guys know what I mean. So hammer shot ultimate rare. Wow, these old packs are crazy. All right, new packs. These uh, old packs are schooling you up a little bit. I'm just saying so let's see what we can pull here oh, wow okay that is amazing i think you can do two on amazing defenders uh we're about to find out we got the uh, makanko the infra noble arms durandal rescue ace hq pearly delicious memories wait did we get something oh wait did we get something oh we got a pearly let's go this is actually a great card this set it started off really bad people were like it's really off atrocious defenders or whatever they called it but i mean pearly stuff has actually gone up quite a bit and it's kind of salvaged the set so the eevee of Yu-Gi-Oh is doing really well it's funny because it's basically just an eevee but pretty cool all right these uh these have been crazy packs so this pack's all jumbled up so let's see you know is there something inside i don't know we're gonna find out but uh wow we've already pulled an ultra rare from the collector rare set two ultimate rares which is amazing from old school sets single packs Wow, these uh, these kind of got whacked somehow. One, two, three, four. A lot of stuff on the back of these cards. We have Ninjutsu Art of Transformation. We like to transform these cards into near mint. Here we go. Arcane Archer of the Forest. That is a Ruxin special. Dust Barrier. No excuse on the old cards. You shouldn't have to Ruxin special though. Sonic Jammer. Emissary of the Oasis. Micro Ray. The new ones, it's a lot easier to Ruxin special, but not this. Disc Fighter. We have Soul Reversal. And we have a... Angel of Wisdom Mercury. Okay, that is an old school card, but it's just a rare, so no big deal. All right, OTS Tournament Pack 21. Can we pull an ultimate rare out of here? That would be pretty epic. Let's do it. Let's pull Sprite Blue. We have a Photon Sanctuary. Time Space Trapple. Hey, I knew I had some of these somewhere. I've been looking for these. Okay, cool. And we have a Light of the Branded. So there's a branded card. Uh, I think I actually already bought them, unfortunately, but hey, I knew I had some somewhere. All right, Reverse Chronological Order has brought us to Invasion of Chaos. There's a Red Banner logo. That's all they really came out in, but obviously First Edition has an option as well. But once we get later and later into like Yu-Gi-Oh's history, then there's like the old logo. Well, even Invasion of Chaos wasn't old enough for that. One, two, three. I think we can do four, but depends on when this was printed. We have Skullmark Ladybug. Can we get one of the big three? Chaos Ember Dragon, the, uh, what's he called? Magician of Black Kit. No, the Black Chaos Magician. Magician of Black. Magician of Chaos. Black Holster Soldier and the other guy. Okay, I always get these mixed up. I didn't for a long time, and now I've started to get them mixed up again. Dark Magician of Chaos. I got it. Ojama Delta Hurricane, Gigantis. We are struggling big time. If it's in here, it's going to be funny. Jade Insect Whistle, Chaos Sorcerer. That's a great Chaos card. Ultra rare Levia da Dragon Daedalus, not Dagon, it's a dragon. Oh my goodness. So this is one of the ones that has a rare and an ultra rare. So I'm guessing that these are the ones that came in those special editions with Force of the Breaker. Based on the, how, the coloring of them, I think that's actually right. I think by the time Force of the Breaker came out, they actually, actually, you know what? No, this could be, this could be from Legendary Collection uh, Binder Edition, actually, 2010. I think that might be it. So I don't know if 2007 had rares and hollows. I can't remember exactly. So we're somewhere between 2007 and 2010 with that print, but we'll take that pull. I've pulled so many Daedalus. I pull that all the time. All right, Maze of Memories, the newest Yu-Gi-Oh set. Here we go. One, two. I think you can do two. Yeah, you can do two here. We have Royal Decree, Rika Petal, Overload Fusion. I kind of forgot that was a rare and a treacherous crazy dueling card. And then the Super Ancient Deep Sea King Colocanth, another super rare, and then more Gate Guardian support. Okay, pretty normal stuff for Maze of Memories. We have retraced our steps all the way back to Dark Crisis, which is a December 2003 release for first edition. This is an unlimited print, so they did have a reprint of this in, what was it, Gladiator's Assault Special Editions, I think. I don't know if this is that one or if it's just regular unlimited. Well, I guess we'll maybe find out. Who knows? Gravity Axe Grawl. I don't, does it feel like it's that? But maybe it is. Ultra Tribute, Iron Blacksmith Kotetsu, Pandemonium Watch Bear, Shooting Star Bow Seal, Frozen Soul, Staunch Defender, Archfiends were a lot of traps in a row right there. And finally, we have a Dark Scorpion combination. Speaking of traps, that is four in a row in that pack. All right, so far, pretty amazing opening. We've had a lot of good pulls from the old school packs. 
uh, three good pulls of the old school packs. Only one from the new packs, which is interesting. What pack am I opening again? Oh yeah, we're back to Battles of Chaos. I, did, I didn't have to do this because of Dark Magician, but we'll just keep going. If it's Dark Magician, I think it'll be next. Nope, not Dark Magician. Dynamorphia Sonic, Silvervine Sinry, the Doll Monster. We got Sword Soul Strife, and we have... Alice, Lady of Lament, the super rare. So not too crazy there, but that's okay because the next pack is Magician's Force. Now, if you've been watching our old school openings recently, we have had some luck with Magician's Force. Very good luck. So I wouldn't mind having that same luck for a third time. I'm just saying. So let's see if it will happen. Here we go, guys. This is a 2003 set. One, two, three, four. We have had a lot of crazy luck here. Hopefully not a damaged Dark Magician Girl this time, just a regular one. Poison of the Old Man. We got Aitsu, Dark Hat with Whitetail. Exhausting Spell, Hidden Book of Spell. I think, is this worth something for some reason? I feel like it is. Royal Magical Library. We have a Rare Gold Armor. <sighs> Magical Merchant, Decent Card. And finally, will it be another Dark Magician Girl, Dark Paladin, something like that? Let's go. Oh, it isn't, but it's a skilled Dark Magician. That's not bad either. A super rare from Magician's Force, and I am out of sleeves. Okay, we're gonna have to grab more of this. All right, we got our sleeves back. Very nice. That is a sick card, so another foil pulled. We are doing really nice so far. Back to our Tactical Masters, which has had great luck for us recently. We've been opening a lot of this and have pulled some insane stuff. Let's see if we can continue it right now. We got a Droll and Lockbird. That's good. Scapegoat, Absolute King Backjack, Pendulum Switch, Malice Lady of Lament. I knew I'd seen that recently. And Archfiend's Ghastly Glitch. This is one we've pulled many, many times. But uh, okay, not bad. Droll Lockbird's pretty decent. I think it's like 80 cents, which is, you know, not that crazy, but decent. All right, seventh set ever made. By the way, we're, we're talking about core sets. I think Dark Beginning may have come out between some of these, but uh, we're talking about core sets here. So Ferrana Guardian is definitely the seventh set, even if you include Dark Beginning. I don't think Dark Beginning came out till later after this. Maybe 2004. One, two, three. Speaking of four, let's do four from the back. Can we get some amazing comments here? Because there's some awesome ones. This is also first ed. Here we go. Dark Snake Syndrome, Timidity. Not aggression area. Don't be aggressive. The bird face. Right of spirit. Metamorphosis. I asked for it and I received. This is one of the best comments in the set. Look at the cutting. Fraud and Garden has the most uneven borders. It's amazing. It's very bad print quality. Servant of Catabolism. And a new Doria for My Hero Academia. So nothing big, uh, but we did get a nice comment, which I think is around like five, six bucks, which is, I mean, that's not nothing. All right, Photon Hypernova. Let's see what you can do. Can you bless us with something amazing like Starlight? One, two, three, four. Here we go. Tenchi Kamei. Manicore Smashing. Chaos Phantasm. That's a Ruxin special. Giski Necromirror. The Bestial Ball Drake. Xyz Align. Land Flipping. And... Numeron Creation. And... Green Ninja. The Ninja is green. All right. Legacy of Darkness. Here we go. The Legacy of the Darkness. Six set ever made. Yada inside. Injection Fairly. I don't know if this is a hobby pack or not, but either way, I'd be very happy. This is a first edition pack as well. Let's do this. Let's pull a centered one too. That'd be crazy. Wolf Axe Wielder. Secret of the Bandit. Burst Breath. Frontier Wiseman. Possessed Dark Soul. Super Rejuvenation, and we have, is it a foil? A Shadow Tamer. So just a Shadow Tamer, regular rare. No foil that time, that's okay. Next packs are gonna be crazy. All right, Amazing Defenders, first edition. Already pulled us a Pearly, so let's see what this pack can do for us. Nice, uh, you know, Pearly Collector Rare would be good to go along with that. We got Tribe Arrivals, we got Card Trooper. Oh, the uh, Typhlosion. Stay Pearly Stream, we got the Makanko Fire Dance, that's a super rare. Okay, couple of rares there. Nothing crazy. No, that's okay. We're back to the old school, which has been on fire recently. First edition, Labyrinth the Nightmare. Can we get a Dark Necro Fear? Mask Beast, Last Warrior from Another Planet. I do all have the, I have all those in PSA 10. So maybe a Gemini Elf. I don't have it in a PSA 10. One, two, three, four. Let's see if we can pull one right here. We have Soul of Purity and Light. Deal of Phantom. The fish that's flying. Oh yeah, he's uh, you granted your wish if you see this flying fish. Crimson Sentry, that rhymed by the way. The Dark Door, Dream Sprite. Grave Robbers Retribution. Feels like it should be in Pharaonic Guardian, but it's not. Is this next card? No, it's the next one. Gadget Soldier and... Jaugen the Spiritualist. A crazy rare that was used in an FTK at one point. Or maybe not an FTK, but an OTK with last turn. But still cool to see. All right, OTS Tournament Pack 21. Will you give us an ultimate rare out of this pack? Let's go. We have a Trap Hole of Spikes. That's a card. Numero or Network Trap Hole. They knew about the uh, the Trap Tricks coming out. I mean, obviously they, they designed it, but okay. Oh, and a Sprite Red. So we got Sprite stuff going on. That's a nice card. Back to our old school packs, which is Pharaonic Guardian. 
original logo. So this is not first edition, but it has the original Konami logo right there. Pretty amazing. So old school, you know this is from 2002 because of that logo. Can we get that Genzo? It'd be pretty amazing. We have a gust. It's gusting. The barrier for insects. No, we have Underwood. Spikebot. Regulation of the tribe. We have the Solomon's Law Book or Solomon if you guys watched uh what was it? What's it called? The the Flash knockoff guy, the, the new Marvel movie. Oni Tank Rux at 34. There we go. Doku Ro Yaiba. Okay, pretty cool. And oh, is this a foil? No, it's a nobleman of extermination. Oh, we're on a rare street. Come on, bring the foils back. Let's go. All right, we got the top three, and then we got one Maze of Memories pack. So we'll do the top three right in a row. Let's do a Maze of Memories real quick. See if we can pull a Collector or a Gate Guardian again. We have Labyrinth Wall Shadow. The Baryan Uto Utopian? Utopia, okay. The Creepy Little Punk, we have the Prey of the Juraguma. Labyrinth Heavy Tank, so nothing out of those. Amazing Memories packs, but that's okay. Because we're ending it off with the top three, the big three. Blue Eyes White Dragon, Metal Raiders, and Magic Ruler. Let's start off with the original print Magic Ruler. Will we pull the Blue Eyes Toon Dragon? We've been searching for one recently. It's been a little bit since we pulled one. We did pull a first Ed one, like somewhat recently out of a random first Ed pack, which was pretty amazing. I think it was, it was definitely last year, so it's been a while. Hungry Burger, not quite a dollar yet, but when that support comes out, just watch. Commencement Dance, Metal Fish, the Darth Maul, Ancient One of the Deep Forest, Fire Kraken, Dark Witch, Molten Destruction, and finally, will it be the Blue Eyes Toon Dragon? No, but it is the Hiro Zanru, one of the most fun Yu-Gi-Oh names to say ever. All right, the top two packs that we have left in the opening. I hope you guys have enjoyed opening all of these original packs, like old school we're talking. I mean, I'm excited. I I've had fun opening these. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. First up, a Skull Knight. Guardian of the Labyrinth. This is a red logo, so this could be a legendary collection. Could be, you know, 2003, 2004. Not really sure. Harpy Lady. Uh, upside down okay we got a big eye upside down harpy lady actually uh you could probably tell what this is based on this i think that's the errata so this might be 2010 gazelle the king of mythical beasts musician king and we have a protector of the throne and oh a princess of sarugi upside down like the cyber dog dragon all right our final pack legend of blue eyes white dragon so we started off really hot we pulled a lot of stuff and we have cooled down on the old school sense it's kind of averaged out let's see if we can end here this is a reprint pack by the way which you can tell from the logo on the pack let me show you guys you can also tell from how the cards look but that logo right there is the newer logo which you guys have heard a lot of times on the channel but for newer viewers i know there's always different viewers watching different videos so i want to help out dark energy we got fiend reflection number two Violet Crystal. Let's see if we can get something. Terra. He's terrible. Tyone. Skull Servant. Very amazing. Is it the next card? No, it's a rare troop in the Fire Knight. And there could be a foil because this is a reprint. A mountain. That's not a foil. That is a mountain. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic content like this. Shout out to Tone Fo Show, Daxter, JT Cho, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanda, Dizzy, Hoppus, Choice 333, Michael, James Jance, TCG Trust of Cards, America Deutzer, Supreme Sage 21, and Anna Tai Show, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Mimic Gecko, and Thomas McLean. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.